of Egypt by night. Okay, let us read once again together. Ready, go. Observe the month of Abib and celebrate the Passover of the Lord your God because in the month of Abib he brought you out of Egypt by night. Amen. Uh, in this one verse, the word Abib is repeated twice. Abib, Abib means the word Abib is significant, very much important. Abib. Uh, Abib means flower blooming month, Amen. equivalent to the month of April. But according to ancient Hebrew, the ancient Hebrew picture letter, Abib means uh, house of my father. Amen. House of my heavenly father. So Abib. It has two nuances, flower, blooming month, but according to ancient Hebrew language, house of my father. So flower has relationship with house of God. Okay? In the house of God, flower is blooming and shining. What kind of flower? Some lampstand, gold lampstand, were made according to the shape of Almond flower. What kind of flower? Almond, almond flower. The so seven lamps and seven branches almond flower is shining. In this sense, the house of God is brightened. House of God is full of the beauty of the flower of almond. Okay? Why almond? Let us think about why almond. What God wished to reveal his spiritual secret through almond flower, through the golden lampstand, shining brightness through almond flower. For what? Okay, now I want you to understand the deep spiritual meaning of uh, almond flower. The almond, in Hebrew language, shaked. Shaked, the, the name Shaked comes from Shakan. Shakan means he was awakened or she was awakened. That's the meaning. So, I must be awakened. Okay. Repeat again, I must be awakened. I must be awakened. I must be awakened. I must be awakened. Okay? She was awakened, okay? <laughs> he was awakened. And then I was awakened, okay? And all of us, we are all Awakened. Hallelujah. Amen. According to the inter deep interpretation of Shakhat means as mother, mother waiting, mother during the time of sunset, mother is waiting for at the door. Mother is waiting for at the door. For what? For Father. whom? Father. Father. Well, for whom? His grown up sons. Because in ancient time, father and, and the grown up sons, they go out to hunt, to, to go out to hunt uh, games, to hunt what? The deer, or whatever you, uh, what kind of, so any, any kinds of the animals. Animals can become food, okay? In the time of the hunting era of human beings. But hunting is somewhat dangerous. Okay, they are supposed to come back home before sunset. So when they come back home, when husband and the grown-up sons come back home, that's the time of happiness. Then uh, whenever we Christians must wait for God, then we must wait for in the heart of the wife or mother who is waiting for husband and children at the door on the, in the time of sunset. For what? When God come back to me, when God returns to me, when Jesus returns to me spiritually, always blessings accompany. Always abundant food is 
uh, accompanied. Now, there are many fruit. Whenever God returns to me, it means whenever we get answer of my prayer, God comes to me. We, we experience the presence of the Holy Spirit. Whenever the presence of the Holy Spirit is granted to me, I experience deliverance. I experience healing. I experience many kinds of fruit. Jesus promised, if you follow my word and you pray whatever you need, then you are going to get answer. If my word is in you, then you are in my word, okay? And pray. Then you are going to bear much fruit. You are going to bear much fruit. You and I are supposed to enjoy bearing much fruit. Now, today we are supposed to show things being hard because of many fruit. Yes. Bearing much fruit. Amen. Hallelujah. Then we show thanksgiving. So now I want to focus on the flower blooming abib. Because the, uh, this month, the people of God celebrate Passover. So flower blooming month is con contrasted with Passover. And then the flower blooming month, abib, okay, is compared to Passover. So Passover, what's the meaning of Passover? Just Passover. That's the wrong interpretation of the European or English, sorry, English theologians. But according to ancient Hebrew, uh, Pasach, the in Hebrew, Pasach. Pasach means God gave much kiss to his beloved. That's the meaning of Passover. Not just, just, just God, God visit each house of God's people and then whenever God saw them, door frame. Stand with blood of the lamb, blood of the Passover lamb. God gave much kiss. God gave much kiss on the house of God. House of God refers to whole congregation of God's people. Whenever God's people gather together, that's house of God. God is enthroned among us. Amen? Amen. The Spirit of God is enthroned among us. Amen? Amen? Amen. Because our gathering is house of God. Whenever you, whenever we believe in, whenever we confess that only by the blood of Jesus Christ, I am freed, all my sins are cleansed. I am saved whenever we confess in that way. God gives us kiss, much kiss. Yes. Okay, this is the value of Book of Song of Songs. This is the value of Book of Song of Songs. The first verse, amazingly, it is written this way. This Song of Songs is read on the first day of Passover. On the, uh, during the first worship, during the Passover week. Song of Song, Solomon, Song of Song, beloved. And let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth. Let God kiss me, let Jesus kiss me with the kisses of his mouth. For your love is more delightful than wine. Mm. Love of Jesus, love of God. Love of Solomon toward Shulamite woman or toward me, the, the bride of Jesus, bridegroom. We must desire sweet kiss of Jesus because it is written, let him kiss me, let Jesus kiss me with the kisses of his mouth. Pesach means, according to ancient Hebrew language, pe, pe, double pe, pe means lips. Pe means mouth, okay? Pe means language or speaking. Pe, pe, pe means when the, according to picture letter, double mouth. You see, double mouth, double mouth. What do you imagine? You may imagine eating and eating, or singing and singing. But for me, kiss and kiss. When kiss and kiss repeated, much kiss, 
or hot kiss. That's the meaning of double, double word. Okay, not like magandang uh, maganda. Very much beautiful. Huh? So kiss and kiss, God gives hot kiss to me. Hallelujah. That's the deeper, the word of revelation about the Passover feast. The Passover feast means the feast of God's love and kiss to me. Not just passing over, but Passover means Pesach. Pesach. Passover means originally God's loving kiss toward us. God's loving kiss, much kiss over all of us. So we must pray. Besame mucho. Peso, beso. Peso, beso. Peso, kiss me, kiss me. We must pray. Oh Lord, kiss me, kiss me. In, in Spanish, besame mucho. Kiss me very much. <laughs> this is the this is the prayer. Who understand Old Testament? This is the prayer. Who understand Hebrew language, Old Testament language? I want you all of you study Hebrew. I want you all of you study theology. Ah, <laughs> because you are so much a beautiful one. Everybody very handsome. Everybody very beautiful. I love you. I am very happy whenever I stand before you because you are very much beautiful. You are singing praise and worship. Wow, very beautiful. Presence of Holy Spirit. Improve, okay? Attest that you are really beautiful. I, I, want, to say, I want to do this. Flying kiss. On behalf of God, on behalf of Jesus, I love you. Okay, shall we say each other, I love you. I love you. I love you. Because God loves you. Hallelujah. This is the deeper, this is the original word of revelation about Passover. God, the day, us the cat Passover, the day God gave me hot kiss, the day God gave me much kiss. Besame mucho. Lord, give, give me. Give me today hot kiss. Okay? Now, in fact, the all, all the Christians who experience the mighty anointing of the Holy Spirit for the first time, they feel the love of God in real friends. Amen? Amen. Because you receive His loving kiss of God. Everyone, everyone who really repent, everyone who really believe in Jesus Christ, everyone who they really believe in the power of the, the precious blood of Jesus Christ. That's the Passover. Personally, you experience Passover day. And then it is compared to the month of flower, month of flower blooming, Abib. Abib, I said, the house of my father. Av, Av means father. And the Abib, B, Bet, Abib, Bet also. Bet means house. B means, B, my father. Abi means my father. The house of my father. So I became house of my father. When God kissed to me. Amen. In my heart, there's a blood, the precious Jesus Christ. It's applied, okay? And then God gives me kiss. Kiss of blessing. Kiss of love. In, in Israel, the deep spiritual meaning of kiss is to bless. Yeah? It means I bless you. God bless you. Mean God gives you peace, gives you kiss. That's the deeper meaning. Okay, now let's go back to the meaning of flower. Let's go back to, I want you to remind, remind the golden lampstand. It's a golden lampstand symbolized the presence of the Holy Spirit. Amen? Golden lampstand was made of the shape of what kind of flower? Almond flower. Shaket. Shaket. 
Now we are waiting for one more blessing of God today. Everyone who has hope in God, they are awakened. The meaning of hope, so the wife or mother is waiting, standing at the door of a house, waiting for returning husband. That's the meaning of shaket. So the symbolic meaning of the almond flower means flower of hope, flower of waiting for God's blessing. Flower of waiting for God's blessing. Repeat together. Flower of waiting for God's blessing. Once again. Flower of waiting for God's blessing. Once again. Flower of waiting for God's blessing. Anyone who are waiting for, they are awakened. In reading Bible, they are awakened. In praying. Always. So whenever we, whenever we sing songs to God, that's the expression of my hope in God. Everyone who are waiting for God's anointing, God's uh, special giving answer of my prayer, another bearing fruit, another eating sweetness of fruit, then we must bloom, flower up, shaket, flower up, hope in God. Amen? So, during, so whenever you look at beautiful flowers, you must imagine, you must imagine shaket, okay? You must imagine shaket, I'm on the flower. Then, oh, he's praying to, whenever you look at flower, oh, she's praying to God. Oh, she's waiting for the kiss of God. So, when King Solomon built temple, temple of God, inside the, the holy of holy, inside the holy, and the holy of holy, the, the world, around the world, they created so one angel of God, one angel of God, the picture of one angel of God, and then next, the palm tree, next, flower, open flower. And then next, again, the cherub, the angel, and the palm tree, and open flower. So flower, 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 surrounded. Flower, Symbol meaning flower, that's God's visit or God's kissing to his beloved ones. I want you to experience God's loving kiss now. <laughs> now. Okay? So whenever you pray, imagine God's lovely, lovely kiss to you. Whenever you sing songs to God, imagine God's lovely kiss to you. Amen? So when you sing, just sing, sing some songs, just sing songs, so only you sing songs, only you sing songs, oh, that's not, that's not A plus singing songs. That's B only. If you, if you sing songs, imagining God's lovely kiss to me once again, that's A plus praise and worship. Amen? So whenever you, you, you practice singing songs, imagine. Even practicing also, that's the praise and worship to God. God is watching over you. God is willing to give much kiss, hot kiss, lovely kiss to you. Amen. Amen. That's the blessing. That's the blessing. So, in the sense of beautiful flower, in the sense of lovely kiss of God, Amen, we must understand, we must interpret in a new way. God is so good. God is so beautiful. All the time. Hallelujah. God is so beautiful. And God loves you. May the Lord, may you receive God's lovely kiss now. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Let us pray. Amen. Jesus, I love you. Father, I love you. Father, you, you know that we are your house. Visit me once again now Amen. and give all of us your lovely kiss so that we may be freed from all the worries of this time. We may experience another blessing, another bearing fruit so that I may thank you, so that I may give thanks to you once again. I want to give thanks to you always. You are so loving. 
You are so loving and beautiful Savior for all of us. I love you, Lord. I love you, Jesus.